Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again on a three streak. Let's jump on in, see who we might get, see who we might get. We get Tainted Isaac. We're only talking about Tainted Isaac in the last episode when we was playing as a uh, Mastema. I still didn't figure out what was going on with Mastema, but um, we'll just jump in as Tainted Isaac here. I think, I was, as I was saying last episode, I think Tainted Isaac isn't like majorly unique, obviously just having the, the main thing of capture eight items, but... His reroll ability, it can be pretty intriguing. It's w one of those uh, abilities as well that kind of allows you to um, it allows you to see more items play with a bit more of a, a wacky setup. And it kind of, I, th I think one of the really cool things about Tainted Isaac is it really does show how many items you get on an average run that don't matter. <laughs> like how many, run how many uh, items you end up getting that aren't actually very consequential to your end result at all. Because... You, you can win with eight items, so why do you ever need any more? Obviously, it, that's not... That's a very uh, black and white way of looking at it, but you understand what I mean. Anyways, let's see what our first item ends up being. We've got a Nugget here. We'll definitely take Nugget. Um, nugget is really, really good just for allowing us to have infinite um, explosions. The only problem with it, of course, is it does make it a little awkward to deal, like, significant damage because we kind of have to miss which is problematic. I'm going to look for these secret rooms here if I can. Uh, of course, we'll try and grab this chest as well. But I kind of just wanted it for the ability to explode things. I think that's always good. I think this character is always one that I find very hard to thumbnail. Just checking everywhere. Yeah, I always find this, char this, um, this character very hard to thumbnail because your items like sort of change hands quite a lot. So you never really know. Okay, there's one. What we got here? Ooh, okay, we do actually have a very good item here. The Urn of One. Um, but, unfortunately, we cannot get it. This is actually a really sucky secret room here, because we can't even get into the cash room through it. It's a very sucky secret room indeed. I understand why it exists, but it's still annoying. But yeah, the, the as you can see, the problem with Nugget really is the fact that you have to be quite good at narrowly missing your target to deal significant damage. Now, the damage it does deal is pretty significant. Like, it's no joke. But if you if you hit with the tier, you kind of shit out of luck. You don't really get much for it. There's that room as well. And I guess we'll just bomb this. And I'll check out my shop as well. We could end up getting some good stuff from the shop. Get uh, like a keeper sack or something. But yes, today's question of the day. Ooh, we could get an electric dice. Hell yes. Uh, we... I just realized we can't get over there because we don't have a key. That's so annoying. Who's making these shops? Stop. I, I guess I could... We got a card beggar. Okay. They got changed recently. Ooh. While held, um, devil deal rooms have a choice between devil deals or an item that costs broken hearts. If the item is quality 3 or 4, it costs 4 broken hearts. Otherwise, the price is 2. Using a sacrifice room removes all broken hearts but destroys the trinket. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm a little annoyed that we can't get electric dice out of that shop there. I feel like I've kind of been robbed. Um, oh, actually, let's let's just play the money game a little bit here and see if we can get anything. But, like, the donation machine's right there. And I have the ability to bomb it easily. But the game says no. There is a chance... There's a chance I can get it somewhere somehow, but I'm not going to bet on it. Unfortunately, as well, we got a pretty annoying version of this boss here, too. Especially with these, like, little black balls that are bothering us. I feel like they could be really problematic, because just because just we can't really miss them and hit and still, like, hit the uh, the Nugget explosion. I think Nugget is, is a truly, truly interesting item. But, yeah, I was saying about Question of the Day before I got rudely interrupted rudely interrupted. I need to think of a good one because it's hard to kind of keep on in your mind that um, that I haven't already asked. Okay, let's hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I want to ask an interesting one here. Hmm. This is a tough one. What is your favorite style of animation? Mine, I, I really, really like Isaacs, obviously. I, I mean, I play a lot of Isaac. But one of my favorites, uh, and it's not it's not even so much animation. It's more just like a style in general. So maybe maybe animation isn't the best word. But my one of my favorites is Cell Shaded. 
Um, ooh, we probably want growth hormones here. Um, one of my favorites is Cell Shaded, which is how uh, Borderlands looks. So if you think of the design on that game, I, I absolutely love the way that looks. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We are meant to be going Mother here, but of course we don't have a key yet. So unfortunately, we can't go there yet. I'm really hoping we get the ability to um, check out a Devil Deal here, just because we've got this trinket, but... Who knows? But yeah, for me, it's always been um, Borderlands style. It's one of the things that drew me to the game initially. Oh, God. One of the things that I always thought, holy shit, this is so cool. Did that actually... Okay. This is a tricky setup we got going on here. At least now we've got enough damage to take out enemies with our tears. And I didn't even think about the fact we can, we can like, shoot our way through doors. Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to pop and blow up. Nice. Now I've at least got enough for the shop if we get a key to enter. I do not like the idea of this room. The spiders here scare me quite a lot, but we're one-shotting everything, so it ain't all that bad. Of course I reveal a bunch more spiders upon doing that. Okay. There you go. Secret room here, maybe? Nope. This should be a, a reasonably easy one to go out with this. There you go. I'm going to try and destroy a bunch of rocks as well as get crawl spaces while we've got the opportunity. I think Nugget's probably an item that I'll get rid of eventually. C can we seriously, like, get some keys, please? <laughs> okay, thank you. That's a key. I'm going to go item room. I know that I should be going mother and save our key, but I think that this is more enjoyable. Um... Why? Oh, god damn it. I was like, why is this not swapping? I genuinely despise. Genuinely despise those stupid, stupid mimics. They catch me every single time. I never don't fall for them, and I hate them for that fact. The most annoying thing in the world. Okay, we got some potential here. Probably going to miss out on our devil deal now. Rather annoying. I'm so, I'm so frustrated at that. I should not have taken damage to that bitch. You're a bit annoying. Secret room? I'm, I'm very confused on where secret rooms are right now. Okay, that's one. Hey, we don't have any keys. Can we blow up these fires? I can never remember. I don't think you can. No, you can't. Okay. That's fair enough. So where the hell's the other secret room then? Here? Not there. Here? Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay, I'm gonna have to I, I'm gonna have to go and pop that wild card because I'm very confused. I, like, I don't even think it's worth popping the world card for, but I need to know. <laughs> I'm very perplexed as to where it is. Okay. What? Why? How? <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a thing that can happen? Why? I, I'm i gonna go for it. I'm gonna do it. But why on earth do I have to go into my cash room to get to my secret room? That's dumb. <laughs> I've never- I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Yeah, move this chest a little bit. Get another troll bomb. <laughs> Doing well so far. Oh boy! The secret room is so far not great. We got another key though. Okay, the keys are here. The keys are back in town. And we get meat as well, which for one is a permanent health upgrade, which is nice. But yeah. Okay. This has been a rocky start. This has been kind of a rocky start. I really hope we get our devil deal, but I'm almost certain that I won't. I don't know. I just I whenever it's a 30% chance, I'm always super, super um. What's the word? I'm just never confident that I'm going to get it. Even the 30% like, or 36% as it is, is actually not a bad chance at all. And now we can actually go to our shop as well. Okay, this is, this has somehow actually turned out pretty nicely for us. 
This has ended up not being too bad at all. So, oh, no way. I actually asked for Keeper's Sack and I got it. So, we'll take Keeper's Sack first. We shall buy this bad boy. And I think we'll buy Car Battery as well. And honestly, I'm just going to buy up everything there is to offer here. And I might as well blow up you guys too. Cool. More money spent, the more stats we get. I think we're in a good position now. Yeah, very rocky start, but it kind of came together a little bit. I think we should maybe play this a little bit. Four or four trinket, obviously don't really care about that. I'm only going to go down to th uh, three keys here. Yeah, it, we only got down to three keys anyways, that's fine. Let's go. Hope for the devil deal. Probably not going to get it though. Right, don't worry too much about getting nugget explosions here. Just do your best. If I can... If they can happen, they'll happen, sort of thing. Just fire at him, and if he gets out the way, he gets out the way, or whatever. Like I said, we'll probably get rid of Nugget anyways. We'll definitely take Steven here, and we gotta go this way. Okay, the damage is nice we got going on here. Good. Ooh, well, hasn't this been a spicy one, but... Oh, I'm in a good mood today. I'm, I'm, I'm often in a good mood when I record, but I'm in an especially good mood today because I woke up. Oh, God damn it. Um, I woke up and immediately... Okay, we've got Swallowed Penny there. Immediately, I uh, made myself some good food, but then for lunch, I made myself some Smash Burgers. And oh, my God. I'm getting really into them recently. They're just so easy to make. Okay, Nugget in here is is just goddamn awful. Holy hell. Uh, I guess we'll take Papilla Duplex um, for the Spectral Shot. Because it fills out our items, but we don't really need it. Um, but yeah, I've been making Smash Burgers loads recently. They're just so easy. Like, if you've got a cast iron pan, they're just like... Literally, you just press some press some mincemeat that's rolled up into a ball. And then put some salt and pepper on it. And you're done. <laughs> put it in a burger bun. There you go. That's all it takes. It's great. So, I've been having those. I had I had those for tea last night, and then I had mince left over. So, I had them for, uh, for lunch as well. And, ooh. Ooh. There's, there's nothing quite like, at least for me, there's nothing like that quite makes me, like, puts me in a, as good a mood as having some good food. Having some really tasty food just puts me in a really good mood. And then also, like, I had a little bit of fudge because I bought some, um, whoopsie. Did that explosion seriously not kill you guys? Um, I had some, um, fudge that's hot cross bun flavored, which is a very strange combination. Uh, ooh. Do we soul of Isaac here? Because neither of these are great. Then again, the fishing rod isn't bad. I'm gonna soul. I'm gonna soul. Yuck heart. Yuck heart is potential, but I'm just gonna take this and we get the brooch. I'm gonna take it over that. Okay, so if I let me just check what the brooch does, because I don't actually remember. Spawns an extra item in shops. These items are money themed. Yeah, that's good with me. We definitely need a space bar item at some point because we've got car battery. But I really didn't want my space bar item to be yuck heart. I don't think that. I don't feel, don't feel like that's any, anything anyone wants or needs. Secret room, lovely. Unfortunately, it's just pills. I'm not really that interested in those. I think our stats are in a bit of a weird spot for me to be taking pills right now. <laughs> I always find Isaac's just such a funny game for, like, of the sentences that come out of your mouth that would just never, ever come out of your mouth in a real scenario. <laughs> it's great. You're like, oh, we're just heading down to the womb. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? The womb? <laughs> Said that to a person that doesn't know what this game is and they'd be confused. G what? Glitched crown? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, um, I think we get rid of Papilla Duplex here. We've got BFF there as well. Well, alrighty then. Um, I don't even know how Glitch Crown is going to work with this dude, but it's a good pickup nonetheless. Can we make it over there with this? We almost can. With this one we can, nice. This one I kind of messed up, but <laughs> oh well. 
I wonder if there's any way I can like push the coins over into position where I can grab them. Nah, I don't think so. Good, good. That's a huge boon for us. Okay, let's be very careful about this. I'm just gonna try and take care of this whole area here. Oh wow, he he was not messing around with that. He he did not do his pop up for very long. There you go. He's dead. Okay, so we do have some issues. I I'm gonna leave that for now. Come in here first. There is some stuff here. Okay. Okay. This is quite overwhelming, I have to say. So in terms of the in terms of the broken heart items, I don't think I really want any of them. In terms of actual items, Abaddon's there, which is always good. I think we want the nail primarily, though. The nail is like a, a must-have. So let's try and get that. Let's see. Uh, Guppy's hairball, ghost baby, the nail. Okay, so we want to pause on ghost baby. Grab the nail. So the nail is a must-have because it's going to give us a full black heart with every use. And then outside of that, we've got the, the black skull thing, which is really good. I realize, by the way, Satanic Bible's here, but I think the nail's actually preferable. Um... I kind of think that Abaddon is the best take here. There's there's this item. Uh, which one is it? This one, which I really like. There's the Star of the Bottomless Pit. But we just don't have any way to activate it right now. So it's not a great take. So we got cold-blooded there. There you go. We got Abaddon. Um, and I think we stick with everything else. I, th I think we leave this in here. And then we, we, we bounce. I would like to take something else, but it would just be too risky right now. Um, and then with this, I think we take marbles just for the trinkets. Right, supper, box, marble. So we want to be pausing on box. Just to see if we get anything good. And honestly, we didn't, <laughs> really. Uh... Foil cards, replace dimes with golden pennies, 25% chance to drop a bomb when picking up a coin. The increase of that seems the best. I, I like this is a good trinket, but it was just it's just not too, too good for us right now. And let's quickly go and find our second secret room, wherever that might be. Wherever that might be. Don't know where it might be actually. Here maybe. There we go. And we do indeed get some good stuff here. So what we got? We got GB bug. Missing page two, bloody card. Curse of the uh, one oh, GB bug. Okay, so I think we want bloody card here. One up, GB bug, missing page two. Okay, so missing page two. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we take that over. Um, I think we take it over meat right now. Because meat's giving us a tiny bit of damage, but not much. Take the stars. And I'm just thinking that with extra foil cards, bloody card could end up being quite good. That's kind of my thinking right now. So right, let's uh, let's get going. Of course, we want to go down this way. Oh wait, let's not get going quite yet because we need a knife piece first. I almost forgot it. I bet people were panicking, in panicking inside knowing that. And I, I'm actually going to maybe... Uh, I was, was going to say maybe cheese it and use my stars card, but that doesn't actually make any sense, does it? Where is our white fire, by the way? White fire's over here. Okay, I see it, I see it. I'm so glad they added the minimap icon for the white fire. A really huge time saver. We've not got that far to go either, so it's unlikely we'll die. If, they, if, we, if we break our holy mantle, we will use our card, though. But yeah, I think Nugget will be the next thing to go. Right now, Nugget's kind of like, it's good, but it doesn't really have a particular place for us. Grab that. I'm definitely not going to do the boss again. I don't feel confident in that. I also don't feel it's very necessary. 
But yeah, I like the resprite of Abaddon. The resprite of Abaddon looks real good. Right, so let's get out of here. Oh wait, we just got 15 cent. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't remember what items were in the shop, but I should at least check. We got BFF. I think we go for a reroll. Okay, a tarot cloth. Now, the question is, does tarot cloth combined with um thingy in any any good way? But I'm still gonna grab tarot cloth nonetheless. So we got forget me uh, sorry, hand down, so it's a hand downs for okay, there you go, and then boom. Obviously, we'll get the stat increase, and then I think we'll take that over Nugget. Like I said, Nugget's kind of the next thing to go. It's been very good to us. Um, we get teleport to a special arcade and Alges. It's been very good to us uh, in giving us essentially unlimited bombs, and I will miss that ability. But at the same time, I feel like it's slightly hindering us, and we can we can sort of make a better make a better build with what we currently got going on here. And I think, nah, I'll stick with the, I'll stick with the foil cards. We've already got one, so it's proving to be somewhat useful here. I remember when the um, Ipecac first came out for Repentance and foil cards were, like, ridiculously common. It's quite funny. One thing I'm noticing right away here is we desperately need, um... We desperately need some... Oh, my God. Fire rate increases. Our fire rate is bad. Nice. Health shouldn't be a factor, really. Um, the nail should sort that out for us. And also, to be fair, that I, I completely forgot about the fact that that was like the worst hit I've ever taken, I think. I walked right into that. Um, the nail is going to provide us with the ability to destroy rocks anyways. Of course, we can't get into secret rooms with that, but we can at least destroy tinted rocks. All that sort of good jazz. And we could just do that anyways. Oh my god, this is spicy. But Penny there. See how much we end up getting from this. I think shops are just super valuable for us. Just for the keeper's sack stuff we've got going on here. So if we can get up to like 30 cent, that'd be really good. Any over that's a bonus. And we got up to 31, so pretty good going, really. I think we should do this. Um, for one, we got an item, which is unexpected. I think we'll take prop surface, of course. Um, although, there's something to be said for Brittle Burns. In fact, I think Brittle Burns might be the tier. Pop this. Gets us our damage bonus. I keep forgetting Nail gives you a big damage bonus as well. I think Brittle Burns might actually be the play, you know. Because we can get quite a lot of fire rate from it. We also got a Foiled Justice, which is going to be insane with Tarot Cloth. Justice. Yep, it was indeed insane. Um... Hello there. Got ourselves an Immortal Heart. Joker as well. Okay, so let's try and get Brittle Burns here, shall we? Okay, Karma, you need to move. You're right in the way. Let me just drop you outside here because you're taking up my EID descriptions and it's annoying the hell out of me. Right. Uh, same with the Lover's card. You go away as well. I think it's about here I want to be stood. Okay. Undefined Proptosis. Okay, so it's after Proptosis. If I accidentally get Proptosis, I won't exactly be sad either. Okay, so now... Hmm. I... <sighs> okay, I've messed up a little bit here. I should have kept the, rever uh, the, the, the thingy justice card. I can at least... Hmm. Okay, let me go on a little investigation here. Okay, another thing that I didn't really think about is, is Brittle Burns going to require us to keep it to keep the fire rate? I need to see if there's a sacrifice room. If there's a sacrifice room, we can make some players. Ow. It's okay, that'll regenerate. Soul Heart there as well. 
Um, unfortunately, there's two things here that I want. Let's take red stew, though. The battery, then red stew. Okay. Got red stew. It'll fully heal us, and we can put it back down, and we keep the damage bonus. Right. Okay. I've been put in a slightly weird position here. With all your money, no thank you. It all depends on if we have a sack room or not. If we have a sack room, we can still make some plays. They're just not going to be quite as lucrative as I want, want them to be. Well, this is an interesting room. Could be very tough if we didn't have as much damage as we did. Is it just mines one? I just see that long room there and I was checking if it was mines two. This has always got that long room. We do indeed have a sack room. This makes things way more beneficial to us. Now, we are going to have to unfortunately waste our immortal heart, but other than that, things are looking good for us. So let's go in here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We did get teleported to an angel room. And... We've got some interesting stuff in here. We've got two of these hearts, which unfortunately aren't that good for us because we're going to end up getting rid of them. This is a tough one. There's a lot of really good items here. Because, um, like, that one's really good. The, the beams. But I think we're going to go with Harmonic Convergence. I think Harmonic Convergence is fun. Right after the spear. So we didn't lose our fire rate after getting this, but... This is a tough one. Uh, I don't realize I'm losing damage while I'm waiting around like this. Maybe just getting rid of car battery. Like, car battery's good, but... Or, how about we do this? We, we grab this like this. I should have grabbed the Zealot Hearts after looking at this now, but... There you go. Oh, wait, no, the Zealot Hearts aren't getting removed. Nice, okay. So now we get rid of all of them, and now we can leave Brittle Bones behind now that we don't need it. We can even... Yeah, we can go out here. We can pop this. Okay, that worked out fantastically. That worked out way better than I was hoping, because I thought Brittle Bones, I'd have to keep it to keep the buff going, but apparently not. And now... See, the only problem is now what do we... Do we try and keep Bloodied Card? I guess we take it over tarot cloth. Oh, wait. Please don't tell me. Oh, you fools. You fools! You absolute fools! Do you realize the power you've given me? Okay, all I need to do is find one specific card and we are in the money here. I need a Hierophon or a Foiled Hierophon. Or even a Reverse Hierophon will do. There's a Hierophon. I'm still going to keep going. This, this room's going to get full. This room is going to get full. <laughs> I love it when I find like a bug like this and just can abuse the hell out of it. I'm sure I make the devs feel just awful. Just clear up some of this mess here. The lovers. A lot of lovers cards about. So here fonts one that we want to leave for now. Um, tower we can pop out here. Another magician. 
another magician. magician. Um, if we pick up the Hierophant, quickly drop it out of here. Really, Karma? You're going to get right in front of the door? Okay, good. Uh, we also want to pick up the Joker and drop it out here. Grab that. Can't believe we haven't got a foil card out of doing this yet. And then just Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Get stuff out of our face. Okay, we might be here a little while, people. Got an Abyss card there. I don't know how the Abyss plus uh, bloody card would even work. We got ourselves an Ace of Hearts here. Ace of Hearts could be an interesting one. In case you're not aware of what I'm doing, I'm looking for a card that gives us a lot of HP on use. So that on hit we have a chance to gain a lot of HP. Another hero font there. That one's a spare essentially. We'll just pop that now. And pop that now as well, why not? And we just keep doing this for a little bit. It's it's an it's a, a slightly slower process. Another hero font, pop it. But we can generate quite a lot of HP through this. Through hero fonts, and then eventually. There's a good one. Okay. I don't know. It's good, but is it good enough? I'm going to just use it. Oh, really? One of them got replaced with a glitched heart anyways. I really want a reverse... Uh, not a reverse, sorry. A foiled Hierophant. That would be obscene. But apparently this, this whole foiled card thing does not affect cards dropped by this, because... We ain't getting any. Queen of Diamonds. It's another glitch card there. If you're wondering why I'm walking away, I'm just making sure they don't bunch up too much. Hermit. Damn, there's so many cards. <laughs> just give me one that I want. Right, I'm going to do some slight experimenting in a moment. Foiled Lovers. Ooh, okay. Now that, I think that's good enough. Right, let's try this out. So, let's put down car battery for now. No, actually, let's put down this. Yeah. And then let's pick up this. Right. So now... Let's go and get hit. <laughs> The best way to do that. So far, this is a bust. <laughs> I expected it to proc at least once during that time, but apparently not. I've got a zealot heart back, anyways. Uh, we should maybe pop a joker now. Oh, that's just. That. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, let's just let's just have faith. Let's just have faith in the in the setup we've put forth for ourselves here. This is a kind of an interesting room. Don't really know why you need the throne bombs to be fair, but there you go. I love the convergence. It's just so cool. Right. Blood explosion's pretty good. It's kind of funny that we know we have a devil deal item in here, like a tainted item, because it's glowing. I'm going to try and take the blood explosion here. So that comes after the this one? Yeah, the place card here. There you go. Needs a little bit of damage, but we've still got 10. Okay, we're in a good spot now. 
So yeah, essentially it drops three to four hearts of any type. If it takes into account the fact that we've got Tarot Cloth, it should in theory drop um, six to eight and they can include Soul Hearts. So that's my master plan. That's kind of the, the overarching idea I have behind all of this. They might have tweaked with the trigger chance of um, of it, to be honest, because it is a bit overpowered. Or maybe I just got lucky. You never really know. But anyways, I think we've got a very good setup of items right now. Probably won't get rid of, like, Convergence at any point soon. Car battery's kind of a maybe. I don't know. Right now, it's something I wouldn't want to get rid of. Hello. Um, I think under this scenario, we take Squeezy. Wait, do we take Squeezy? Or do we take the health up? Creatine powder's pretty good too, though. Maybe we don't take anything, we just take the health upgrades and that's it. So Squeezy is after Mr. Boom. Yeah. Damn it. Remote detonator is what I meant, not Mr. Boom. But this gives us the two soul hearts, we can pick that back up. And then this one, let's just run into it randomly, see what we get. There you go, we got a soul heart, two keys. Works out for me. Um, and then, yeah, I think we just go. Been a long time on this floor, we've been here a while. <laughs> That's just how we float our goat, though, isn't it? And yeah, blood explosion should lead to some good stuff. I don't know if there's any trigger sound for if um, if our foiled lovers card triggers uh, from the on hit effects. I don't know if there's any way that we'll know, like if we leave a room like a care room and it triggers. It's a slightly difficult to see what tiers are mine and enemies, but other than that, this is like super cool. Okay, so we got this. Got to keep moving. Rotten Heart gives us some flies as we go. If we could get, I think if we could get, um, what's it called? I can't remember the name of the item now. Nun's Habit. Then we'd really be having a good time. Damn it, we can't grab that. I kind of wanted to grab that pill. Okay, there you go. Ah, just pheromones. Just pheromones. A lot of rooms with these guys in. The flaming dumpies. At least there's no spikes. That's all I can ask. Okay, the wafers are pretty good grab. I'm gonna take this though. We got Nord Leaf out of that. And it did trigger, as you can see. Is there anything here we want? I guess we just grab Foul Gut and then be on our way. Foul Gut's after that. Okay, Lodestone. There you go, yeah, Falco gives some HP. But yeah, as you can see, we dropped a lot of stuff on the floor then when we got hit. This is quite the powerful synergy we've got going on here. Having this limited to eight items is kind of sucky, but otherwise, it's a lot of fun. There's Nun's Habit. Okay, okay, okay. So, now comes the question. I think this is the... I don't know what we get rid of. Abaddon, maybe? First of all, let's try and figure out how to get Nun's Habit. It comes after Coupon. Damn it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Ideas, go ideas are bust. That was a shame. Damn it, that's so annoying. That's like the one item I... Because if I got that, then I could start taking hits on purpose. 
so that I could charge my active, heal, and have a chance to drop health all over the floor. It would have been the ultimate plan. I'm not letting you hit me, buddy. I say that and then I get hit. Pop a bomb on you. Ow. It's okay, you got rid of my burn heart. I don't need it. Ah, uh, fortunately we got the pills. Did not really want the pills. Bone meal. 10% damage and size increase. I still like the idea of foil cards in case we get like a foiled hero font. Okay, back we go to do our little puzzle. But yeah, I think we're I think we're nigh on killable here. We've got a pretty good stats and everything as well. Like, there's not many items I need to change over now. I think next up to, to change, like actually swap out item wise, is maybe glitched crown. Like I think we're getting to the point where we no longer need glitched crown. Which is kind of weird to say, but everything else although keeper's sack is is gonna be less useful soon, but I do believe Keeper Sack, you lose the stats if you get rid of the item, unlike Brittle Burns, which is a strange distinction between the two, but I believe that is the case, so we can't really get rid of it, because I believe it's giving us quite a lot of our stats. Like, the main reason we have the damage we have is because of it. Obviously, Fire Rate is all Brittle Burns. Kind of weird that you keep your Brittle Burns Fire Rate in this area as well, actually, thinking about it now. Maybe the way that Brittle Bones gives you um, fire rate because it exceeds the cap. It's like, it's a very, very different mechanism than the game would normally use. And that's why it, uh, it isn't affected when you get rid of the item or it isn't affected when um, when you go into this area. Bit, bit weird, but it is what it is, I guess. God, this area is the laggiest thing on the planet. I don't know why, it's just so... On, on modded, it's just so laggy. I don't know where I'm meant to be throwing a bomb here. Was there a reason I was given a bomb in this area? Come on, get out of the way. Wait, what? I don't understand. Oh, I think I do, I think I do. Good. Dude, just get out of the way. <laughs> Most annoying fucking segment ever. Damn it. Didn't quite reach. There you go. And we out of here. Okay, that was a bit scary, that one, but we made it through. Didn't take any damage either. Pretty happy with that. All right, let's go. But yeah, if, like, if we get hit a bunch in the mother fight, we're likely to just spawn a bunch more hearts. I would like some more red heart containers, though, just so we can take advantage of any red hearts that drop. We refill that. Use that. Down we go. This is another reason why car battery is one of my favorites. The nail got nerfed and we've basically just unnerfed it. <laughs> We're clearing rooms reasonably fast. I feel like our damage isn't amazing. We could definitely have better. But it's definitely not bad. Especially with the extra shots from the Convergence coming in here and there. Now, an in interesting question is... Can we play the sack room effectively? I feel like we probably can. I think the sack room would work quite well. But I kind of rather have some hearts on the floor before I do that. There's one heart on the floor at least. Okay, let's let's do some let's do some sort of Jiggy Jiggy over here. No thank you with that. 
Right, so we come back here. We go... One. Okay, so that's good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. What we got going on here? Triple shot. What's the, is that redemption? Yeah, redemption's kind of a weird one. Triple shot. It's just I don't really know where it fits into our eight item count right now. Piercing? Piercing would be really good, actually. Maybe this is where we say goodbye sayonara to, uh, to a glitched heart. A glitched uh, thingy, what's it called? Right. Triple sh uh, So we're going for piercing, aren't we? So piercing is after triple shot. If I accidentally get triple shot, I wouldn't be super devastated. We did get piercing. Good. Um, so how much damage do we lose from removing Abaddon? I feel like we I feel like we say goodbye to Glitch Crown. It seems like a weird choice. But I feel like we're at the point now where we've got the items we want to keep. We don't need extra choices. We got ourselves an extra heart container as well, like I asked for. But yeah, I'm thinking piercing is gonna be really good with this, just because obviously the convergence throughout the rooms. Also, you might be noticing our tears have been deleted at the end of every room now correctly, which is really nice. Automatically all get removed. It's a super nice little feature there. It's like our fire rate and damage, they both aren't perfect. They aren't incredible statistically, but they're good enough. Certainly good enough to kill Mother. Especially with the damage boost we get from the nail, too. We've got to remember to utilize that. But you can see how many times we got a... Like, how many hearts we got as a proc from this whole setup we got going on right now. I think it works quite well. Okay, this guy's got our knife, so let's be careful of that. She pushed away my bomb. You can't do that. Just Mr. Dolly now. And I think that's pretty much where we go. This has been a really saucy, saucy run so far. I'm liking it a lot. Some interesting modded stuff coming into play as well. It's always nice when you have like a kind of wacky modded run. Obviously, when we get into the area where we're going to be dealing, taking a whole heart's worth of damage per hit, we're a little bit more screwed. Maybe I should have uh, thought about that ahead and brought the wafer with us. But it's not like it's going to like not work at all. It's just got less chances to work. Less time to take effect. Okay. And there you go. Yeah, piercing is was definitely the right choice here. Piercing is proving to be very, very useful. Okay, I didn't realize you were there. Another sack room here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is this is what I'm talking about. Okay, now there's some saucy saucy. I think blood explosion for angel tears is uh, is perfectly reasonable. Okay, we don't have to pause now, do we? What am I doing? There you go, I can grab that. Yeah, I think blood explosion for that is perfectly reasonable. Because blood explosion is good, but it's not going to work on the boss. So I think we'll take that as it comes. And I think we're at the point now where we can take discount brochure and be pretty happy with it too. A 
one soul heart there. Okay, cool. And away we go. Yeah, we managed to get this, which I love this item just so much, so I'm glad to have it. Slightly sad that our convergence tiers aren't made into feathers like it was last time. I don't know why that's not happening. Maybe it's because piercing, like, overwrites it. Beautiful. Okay. Nothing there we want. This has been pretty incredible. Do, 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 do. I wonder, do the, fe do the feathers have piercing by default? I don't think they do, do they? I should check that, though. If they do have piercing by default, we could take another item. Okay, Keeper's Sack here can get its last little squeeze. Ooh, I do want to just quickly check out how this looks. Unfortunately, not as interesting as I thought. I may, I thought maybe it'll, like, drop feathers or something. It does not. Good, good. I thought it'd be, like, dropping feather rocks. Oh, there you go. Look, we got it again. Oh, it's just crazy. The setup we got going on right now is nuts. Got an angel baby coming in. Oh god, I walked into that twice in a row. It's okay, we can use our uh, nail. Oh, another hit. I need to be very careful here. Got the beams and the god headshot coming up next, I think. Didn't even need it. Take that. I forgot we'd get damage from that as well. That's another good thing too. Another bit of extra for us. Mother's heart shouldn't be all too bad for us here. The god headshots with piercing is really good. I have literally no idea what's mine and what's hers. This is all just random like, random chance if I dodge or not. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Dodge wise, that that was that was not good. Right down we go though. Missed out on quite a bit of HP on that last fight there, but I just couldn't see what were her tears and what were mine. So ooh, we start off here. Okay. Why is there a trap door in here? What? <sighs> this definitely feels like a trap. I'll think of what I got for now. Like, going down here definitely doesn't feel like it'll end up being good for me. I mean, it made me accidentally waste a thingy. Okay, that was just strange. <laughs> Okay. I was just about to say, let's be a little careful as to not get hit too much. Immediately gets hit on the first room before I even manage to say it. I'm tap firing as much as I can to get out our shots here. What champion were you? Oh, dude, there's a tiny boy there. Absolute small boy. We're just hoping that basically... Oh. Every time I go to say... I need to stop talking about getting hit. Because every time I go to say something about getting hit, I get hit. Because I was just about to say, we really need to, the, the hearts to drop on the next time we get hit. And of course they didn't. The good thing is as well, remember, if things get really, really touchy, we can just use the card. Like, there's nothing stopping us from just actually, like pressing the button to use the card and drop the hearts on the floor. It just means that it won't hold for the for future hits. So it's, it's better that we hold off on doing that until we have to use it. But this floor shouldn't be all too bad here. Might be a room which I get hit, I'll be honest. Dog my baby. Do, 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 do. Okay, you're taken care of. 
as is yourself. Not a room I wanted to deal with. Oh my lord, yeah. That is a that is a guaranteed hit sort of room there. In fact, I'm out of here. That ain't somewhere I wanna be, ever. These guys are gonna hit me too. Fuck, fuck, no, no, no. This boss is one that I'm always, like, apprehensive of. I feel like he's sometimes really easy and sometimes he's just not at all. Definitely feel like my setup is lacking in some areas. I'm trying to drop bombs on him when I can, but it's not always super easy. This guy isn't too bad when it's just the head either. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. We'll take another syringe here. Check out our Devil Delia. Hmm. I feel like we should definitely play these. It's super risky. Yep. I've committed now, though. Just move away from the spikes, please. Come on, card. Please trigger. I need you to trigger. You bastard. As if it didn't. That's, that's maybe killed us, that has. There's a potential that we're dead because of that. Because I need the card to trigger, and it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it, and now I don't have enough room left in my HP bar to get it to trigger. What are you nodding at, fella? Guess I'll just buy this. Yeah, I... This has maybe put us in a spot, because I was like... In a situation where I basically couldn't die, and now because of getting unlucky, I'm in a situation where I very realistically could die. I've got to kind of hope and pray that my active ends up saving me, really. You just go down. We do get a full black art every time we use it, which is pretty good. But that still doesn't mean that that'll save us. Also, just finding other good cards would be a, a real savior to us now. Can you stop with your little bounciness? I can't hit you. Oh, God. He's done the thing. Twitchies, why are you so evil? <laughs> And then, of course, we're not finding any HP on this route, on this floor, either. Like, we're not finding any drops, actually. Like, at all. Like, look at this. Look at look how clean the, the floor is. There's nothing on any of the rooms. Oh, we've been shafted in the last in the last leg of the competition. Those black chests, though, that was my... That was my... It was, all, it was definitely my fault. But it was luck that screwed me. If I'd have gotten one payout, wouldn't have mattered. What hit me then? Oh, I just can't see any of the enemy's tears. We're going to be going into the fight with this much HP, which does not bird well. Okay, another key. Not really what we need, though, is it? Not really what we need. There's a soul heart. We need a red heart as well, though. Come on. Where's the red heart, love? Yeah, stop with uh, all your maggot creation processes, please. 
Check this out. Sadly, nothing much. Is this three frails? Oh, this is a kind of a cool room, actually. I don't know if this is a modded room or not, but this is the pin room from, uh, from like, the depths, but as the frail. I think that's a cool idea. It's, it's a difficult room, I'll say that for sure. But it's definitely a cool idea. Of course, they can kill each other as well with their brimstones. That's kind of funny. Wasn't so bad in the end. And there's that red heart. Okay. Health isn't looking too terrible now. I'm a little more confident going into the fight itself. Still. Would prefer to be at full. What's, what card is this? Invoke the effect of glowing hourglass. Ooh. That's got some potential. But I still feel like this lover's setup is the best option we have right now. Let's just get in here and try our best. I really just hope the actual card procs on us getting hit at least once. That's two hits down the drain already. I'm doing bad. I just find I find this attack really hard to dodge when um when you've got the health bar mod on. You just can't fucking see it. Yeah, it, it, every time she's done it so far, it's hit me. Okay, I dodged that one. And so far, the lover's card is yet to proc. I can't believe how big of a deal I made out of this lover's card deal. Out of this whole lover's card thing. And it has been worthless when it actually counted. When it actually mattered and we needed it to save us, it has been basically useless. Okay, we're doing good damage to her. Well, that's not... It, it triggered, it triggered. Yes! <laughs> it came through in the clutch. How did I not get hit there? What the fuck? Ow. I think that was a runaway heart then. That was having a really hard time grabbing. Damn it. Okay, I think we're out of bombs now. Oh, no, we're not. Just didn't let me drop one there. I think I tried to drop it a bit too early. Whoa, I don't know why you got pushed all the way up there, fool, but not good. Okay, we got her. Oh, boy. Well, that was a pretty crazy run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A lot of fun items in there. Got to mess around with a lot of cool stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.